Speaking of celebrating yourself, in chapter 13, you really talk about every woman needs a Sabbath. Well, obviously, I couldn't agree more because so many women are balancing family, careers, and all of these responsibilities that, honestly, we put on ourselves. And as a, a mother of children and a career woman, I know it's hard to have a moment to ourselves, let alone a full day to right. honor the Sabbath. Yet you write, your healing comes in Christ Jesus. As you rest in him, every infirmity, every area you've been out of place will be restored. What advice would you give to busy women like myself who struggle to find time to commune with God and amid all of their responsibilities? Many breaks, small breaks. Maybe you can't go to Hawaii either because of your schedule or your finances. Maybe it's a, it's a hot bath with bubble bath or milk bath and soft music and candle lights, but moments uh, of tranquility interludes for you to restore. And you may have to play with what works for you because one woman finds it in a hot bath, another woman finds it playing golf, another woman finds it getting a massage, another woman finds it doing something else, out there riding a horse. There are women who love to fool with the horses or play with the dogs or raise a cat. Whatever refurbishes your soul, uh, whatever feeds you, making some time to do it, even if you have to put it on your calendar like you were making an appointment, make an appointment with yourself, with your God, and pour something back into yourself. Because, Sarah, it's, everything is going out and nothing is coming in, you're going to be bankrupt. And bankrupt can be terribly embarrassing uh, because bankruptcies generally show up in public ways. Well, now I um, have an excuse to really take some time oh, off to myself. I'm going to say it's the book. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. That, that's the thing. That, that has never been a weakness for you anyway. <laughs>